Let's go to far off places and search for treasures bright. Come drink with me tonight. Let's build a giant airship and sail into the sky. Let's watch the ground so far below. Let's watch the birds as they fly by. So high. confused, Grubby. According to this map, we should have crossed a large stream before we got to the mountains. I see what you mean, Teddy. I don't remember crossing any stream. Hey, Gimmick, are you sure we're going in the right direction? Oh, dear me. Perhaps it is time we turned north. Whoa! Whoa! Better. We should be at Marvel headquarters in no time. I think. LB, you keep losing them. Oh, can't you do anything right? Look, Twiz. I don't got eyes in the top of my horn, you know. Why don't you just tell me which way to go? Oh, that way, you overstuffed pumpkin. Oh, do I have to do all the thinking around here? I'd be amazed if you did any thinking at all, punk. <laughs> We have to catch up to Gimmick and those other guys and get that crystal! Excellent! We appear to be making splendid time. Now, according to my calculations, we should be approaching the mountain range where Marvel is based. Say, fellas, if we're heading into the mountains, how come I hear the surf? That, my octopede friend, could only be a gentle mountain stream of the North Country. <laughs> I assure you. Look, Grubby, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, and big. It's the biggest mountain stream I've ever seen. I don't understand it. I, I made this compass myself. I understand it. Gimmick, why don't you turn us around so we can take a closer look? Not again. before us is apparently a classic example of a silicon-based granule repository. It's remarkable. <laughs> Gee, Gimmick, it looks like a beach to me. Well, fellas, whatever you want to call it, let's land on it and fix that compass thing. Good idea, Grubby. <laughs> that hunch of mine you had was correct, LB. They're landing on the beach for a rest. Fools! We never rest, do we, LB? No rest for the wicked! Sheesh. All this marvel stuff is going to your head, Twitch. <laughs> LB, when we get that sixth and last crystal from Gimmick and his pals, Weller and the others at Marvel will fall down at my feet. Then you better wash them before we get there, Twink. LB? I, I can see it now. I'll be a hero. They'll make me the leader of all monsters and villains in Grundo. And Mother will be so proud that she'll double my allowance. Sometimes nothing is still nothing. Say, Twizzle, I don't suppose your evil brain has figured out how we're going to get that crystal from those guys, has it? Of course it has, Melonhead. <laughs> Nothing could be easier. <laughs> we'll, uh, uh, that is, we'll, uh, I mean, we could, uh... Wait until dark, when they're all asleep, then nab it? What? Don't be an idiot, LB. I'll do the thinking here. Now then, we'll wait until dark, when they're all asleep, and then we'll nab it. And I thought you didn't have a mind of your own. 
Hey, Twist, you hear something? Quiet, LB. How am I supposed to concentrate when you're constantly interrupting me? Hey, Teddy, do you hear music? Hey, yes, Scrubby. Look. Huh? Oh, my! Grunges! You can play a game of handball on the Great Wall of Heat. But surfing in Grundle beats anything. Surf, 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 surf in Grundle. Surf, surf, surf in Grundle. Surf, surf, surf in Grundle. Yeah, surf in Like, what is it, a boat or what? Well, actually, it's an airship. Yeah, like, well, I have a need, huh? Radical. Tubular. Drenial. Like, totally awesome. Yeah, that too, man. What's it doing here, anyway? Yeah, what she said. My name is Teddy Ruxpin, and this is my friend, Grubby. <gasps> and this is Newton Gimmick. Uh, uh, hey! <laughs> Hello there, and isn't this a fine day? Oh, go careful with that. I, I I built it myself, you know. <laughs> well, actually, Teddy and uh, Grubby here helped quite a bit in the final design, and... Uh, ooh, ooh, uh, well, like, uh, hey, man, this here's, like, Jody, the guy with the drum is, uh, Ginny, and my name is, like, uh, Jethro, <laughs> yeah. And this is, um, like, man, the rest of the gang. Anyway, man, it's been real. Come on, fella grunges. <laughs> Like, enough of this, Gavin. We got some serious surfing to attend to, like, wow. Surf's up, Matt. Naughty. Hey, man, if anybody sees Donna Lee. There. Now it should work perfectly. You see, this way is south. And now if I turn and point it this way, <laughs> you'll note that this way is south, too. And if I turn it uh, uh, this way, you can clearly see that this way is... South again. Uh, precisely. <laughs> well, uh, oh, dear. Gimmick, you probably need the tools back at your house to fix it properly. We could go on without the compass. Gee, Teddy, how will we know where we're going? Well, Grubby, I'm pretty sure that right now we're here on Ben's Beach. So that means north is that way. We could still get lost, but if we... Oh, hello again. Hey, like Teddy Baby. I saw you pulling out that map Maparoo there. Where would you want to go on a nice day like this? Wow, man. Couldn't be a better place in the world than right here on old Ben's Beach. Like, wow. Gee, that's awfully nice of you. But you see, my friends and I really should be on our way. Oh, come on, Teddy. Like, don't be like that, man. Like, let's party, yeah. man. Wow. Let's do some serious surfing, you know. Yeah, man, like we can boogie. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you know? You're all very kind. What do you think? Well, it would give me more time to repair the, uh, uh, uh compass. And it sure is a nice day. Well, okay. Let's relax for a while. All right! Hey, like, you know, like, let's boogie, like, down. Yeah. I'm in the food Ben's movie. Beach is where we're going. It's the place to be. To be beside yourself, beside the sea. We're going to party! That's a verb we use, describing the way we like to play the show. This is fun! Well, I don't know, Teddy. I don't like getting wet. It's easy. Once you get the, uh, uh, uh hang of it, Grubby. Whoa, whoa! They just don't make surfboards big enough for us, huh? I love them, I love them. 
I've got an idea. I'm glad we decided to stay, Jethro. Surfing sure is exciting. Hey, like, you know, this is nothing. You should see it when the waves are really big, man. Like, wow. No, Grubby, don't. Not the reducing machine. Whoops, I missed. of the summer. Oh! Uh, a slight uh, a miscalculation on the part of our friend here. <laughs> I assure you it was quite uh, unintentional. Yes, Grubby was just trying to make his surfboard bigger. Yeah, sorry about that. Next time I'll try making my feet smaller. <laughs> Eternally! And look at that minnow! It would seem, Grubby, that when you enlarged the wave, you also enlarged everything that was uh, inside it. I think you're right. Look, even the salt crystals are much bigger than they should be. Like, that was one awesome wave, man. <laughs> like, you know, Jeannie here almost wrote it, too. Like, wow. No, man, no. I wiped out. There was only, like, one grunge ever born who could have ridden that wave. Elroy, man. Oh, uh, yeah, like, Elroy, man, like, for sure. What a totally gnarly dude, man. Whoa. <laughs> like, he was a grunge and a half. <laughs> like... Know? Like, face it, man, there was no wave in all of Grundo he couldn't handle. He was cool. Like, right on, Jethro. Like, too bad you couldn't say the same thing about his wife. Elroy always was in charge of every wave, however large. He'd ride his surfboard standing tall. No one ever saw him fall. He was loved by all his entire life. That is, until he met his wife. She was a mean and nasty beast. She wasn't nice, to say the least. He had strange taste, that surfer dude. The troll he married was always rude. She insulted him the whole day through. But then she knocked his surfboard, too. She'd gone too far, he just hung ten and was never, ever seen again. They say he surfed across the sea on the most rad wave in history. Like all the guys used to call him by her last name, you know. Mr. Tweed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. Excuse me, gentle grunges, but did you say, uh, uh, Tweed? <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's right, Tweeg. Eleanor and Elroy Tweeg. Funny couple. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but man, like, nothing compared to that funny looking kid of theirs, uh, Jack W. Like, wow. Jack W? Anyway, old Elroy took off so far away that nobody's heard from him since. Like, wow. Except, while I was sitting up in that tree, I saw a guy in the grove over there who sure did look like Elroy's little green kid. Oh, uh, yeah, like, we saw him too, like, you know. What was he doing? Nothing much, man. Like, just sitting around in his bathrobe, yelling at some round red guy. Surf's like up! Like, sorry, man, that uh, duty calls you, know. Teddy, why would Tweeg and LB be following us if they already have the crystals. I think I know why. They don't quite have all of them. Don't forget the one inside the portable reducing machine. Gee, you're right, Teddy. That is most assuredly what Tweak and LB are after. Hmm, maybe we should get out of here right now. Uh, why, I agree completely. I'll get us ready to uh, uh, cast off. No, wait. 
I have an idea, but we'll have to wait for nightfall. In the meantime, here's what I want the two of you to do. LB, can't you keep that pointed little head of yours out of the way? You're going to stay right behind you, Tweezel. Well, not so close behind from now on. Quiet, LB, there can be no room for error. Dread things be around here somewhere. Look, LB, there's gimmick. Go through his pockets. <laughs> oh. Can't you stay out of my way, you hat -wing? Quiet, please. There can be no room for error. <laughs> Wake them all up. Why don't you go back to the tower and play inside the cannon? Sure, Twinkle. Whatever you say. Mind if I take this crystal with me? I don't care what you take with you so long as you keep quiet. Did you say crystal? Give me that LB. Oh, can it be? It is! This is worth a fortune! Don't taste bad either. A little salty, maybe. Come on, LB, before these idiots wake up. Shh. Okay, everybody, they're gone. Gee, Teddy, that was a great plan. I sure gotta hand it to you. Take your pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did fall for it. <laughs> he most certainly did, my imaginative young Iliop. That phony crystal you made from the giant salt looks just like the real uh, crystals. Yes, and thanks to the grunges, the real crystal was safe and sound. Yeah, it was a great idea to, like, hide it here inside mm -hmm. my guitar. Yeah, man, like, oh, boss, man. Totally so, Teddy, what do we do now? First, let's pick up a few more of those salt crystals. We can use them when we get to Mavo. Then let's load up the airship and head on our way. Uh, but, Teddy, I haven't finished repairing my uh, uh, compass. Hey, like, you could always, like, uh navigate by the stars or something, you know? We won't need a compass, and we won't need stars. All we have to do is follow Tweed. Remember, he thinks he has the last crystal. He'll be heading straight for Mavo with it. A perfectly logical conclusion, Teddy. Why, thank you, Gimmick. Come on, everyone. Let's get back to the airship. Hey, bye, you all weird dudes. Like, don't forget to write, you know? Like, we can't read, but we'd like, sure, appreciate the thought, you know? Goodbye, Jethro. Goodbye, Jenna Lee. So long, Jenny. See ya, Jody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks for all your help. Happy surfing. <laughs> Full speed on the propeller, Bobby. Aye, aye, gimmick. This time, I think we ought to go that way, Gimmick. He's definitely headed toward the headquarters of the Monsters and Villains organization. Yes, Teddy. We're on our way to Mavo at last. But getting those crystals back will be very, uh, uh, dangerous indeed. Gee, we already have one crystal. What do we need all those others for? Bobby, just imagine the amazing things we could do with those crystals. Each of them has a wonderful power of its own. And we wouldn't want that power to fall into Marvo's hands. 
In our next episode, Queller, the supreme oppressor, has two reasons to throw a big party at the Monsters and Villains organization. First, to install the stolen crystals in the war room ceiling, and then to install Tweeg as an apprentice member. All the most important monsters and villains will be there. Then we have to figure out how to get the crystals back right out from under their noses. It's one of our most exciting stories yet. I hope you'll join us on the adventures of Teddy Ruxpin.